Another popular component is input select, which allows us to choose a specific item from a list of items. It is very often used in controls, so it is worth knowing how to implement it. We will want to give the user the ability to select a position for an employee, but only from a list of available positions. So first, we need to create a list of positions in the company in c -sharp code. We move to the c -sharp code, and before we create the list of positions, we need to add a model. So we will add a position class and add a string field name and an int field ID. This will be the model for a job position, meaning each position will have its own identifier and name. Later, in the employee, we will want to save the ID of the selected position. Now we move to the c -sharp code for the forms component and create the list. It can be, for example, I enumerable named positions, and we can initialize it right away. So let it be a list and we will create a few positions here. For example, new position in ID Bjarn.1, name Bjarnno, warehouse worker Bjarn and driver. And of course, we need to change the identifier for each position. Next, we can implement this in the view. We can also copy the previous example to make it faster. So first we have this form group div, nothing changes here. Then we have the label, which is the position in this case. And then, as I mentioned, we have the input select. We will want to link this component with the position ID, meaning we will want to save the identifier of the selected position. Class form select. Okay, that's it for the input select. Now we need to change the way we use this component. So instead of closing this component inline, we need to close it here and add a separate closing tag because we will want to add some code inside. We use for each here and display positions based on the list of positions. So we go through this list of positions one by one and for each position we add a new option in this select where we display the name, so item, name. The value will be the identifier, like this. Additionally, we can add a default option. Here we will add the label select position to make it clear that no position has been selected yet and the value will be zero. We can later validate that zero cannot be selected and a position must be chosen. The first field will be locked and highlighted at the start and that's basically it. So we have an input select and inside we create options that are to be displayed. First we create this default option and then options based on the list of items we created in C-sharp. So let's see how it looks. Here, the select has been added. First we have this label and an option that cannot be selected. It is grayed out and we can only choose from the three options we created in the C-sharp code. And now, if I select an option, I can't go back to the first option, which is locked. Similarly, if someone visits this form for the first time, doesn't select any position and click save, we will check if something was selected and if not, we will display a message and not allow proceeding to the next step unless this field is not required. However, I will show you later how to handle it as if this field were required. And now I invite you to the next lesson where I will show you how to enter a date on the form.